Hello. Hello. Hey guys. Hello. Hello everybody. Hey man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it looks like we have a full class right now. Cool. Alright guys, well my name is Joe and today we're going to be debating whether or not colleges should have entrance exams. First though, I can hear myself in the background so it sounds like somebody has the verbling page open. So if you could all just make sure to close that verbling page because on the verbling page you're going to have this video streaming live so it's just going to be repeating everything I'm saying. So it sounds like it's been closed. Good. Okay, so before we begin this debate slash conversation, um, we're just going to go through and have everybody introduce themselves. So I'll start. My name's Joe, and I'm from the United States. And so the first person we'll start with is Haider. Hold on, hi there. It's a little hard to hear you. Can you repeat that, please? We can kind of hear you. It's very quiet. So maybe if you try moving your microphone closer to your mouth, or if you try speaking louder. Uh, I'm with you. Uh, what the question is? Uh, the question is just state your name and what country you're from. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Haider Hussain Abdullah uh, from Iran. From Iran. All right, welcome. Thank cool. Enrique. Um, Sorry. Keep going. Uh, I'm, a, um, I'm a medical student from an Iran university. Uh, okay. So you're study. So wait. So you're studying in another country right now. You're studying in the United States. I'm. I'm. Uh, no, I'm studying in Iraq. I'm a medical student. Medical oh, you're student. a medical student. I thought you said American. Okay, so you're a medical student in Iraq. Okay, cool. Welcome. So Hello. next we have Enrique. Hi, I'm Enrique. I'm a Brazilian, but I'm living in New York. You live in New York. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Cool. Okay. Um, Jonatas? No, <laughs> Jonatas. Jonatas. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Uh, I live in São Paulo, Brazil. Brazil. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Jonatas. Interesting name. Yeah. Okay, Luis. Hi, everybody. My name is Luis from Peru, but I'm I'm living in I'm not living. I'm working in Italy in a cruise ship, so I travel around the world working in in it. Wow. What a great job. That's awesome. All right. Uh, Louis <laughs> Luisa? Yes. My name is Luisa. I'm from Armenia. From where? Armenia. 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 Okay. Cool. Um, Marcel? Marcel. That's correct. It seems that we have a lot of Brazilians today. I'm also from Brazil and I live in Belo Horizonte. Nice horizon in English. Uh. Okay, cool, yeah, so we have three Brazilians today, awesome. Uh, Victor. Uh, hello, my name is Victor, I'm from Vietnam, and I'm a student. You're from where? Vietnam. Can Vietnam. you write? Vietnam. Vietnam, 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 gotcha, Vietnam, okay, cool. Uh, Wolfgang? Yeah, it's me again, Shang, I'm from China. Cool. Cool, cool. Welcome again. And then the last person, your name is in Arabic, and I do not know how to pronounce it. Hello, I am uh, Abdul Karim. I'm from uh, Syria. Mm -hmm. I study in uh, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Okay, and what, what's your name? Abdul Karim. Abdul Abdul Karim. Abdul Karim. Okay. Abdul Karim. Okay, I'll try and remember that. Okay, cool. Welcome. All right. Welcome, everybody. Glad you're all here today. So, like I said, we're going to discuss 
slash debate whether um, universities, colleges should have entrance exams. So um, just to clarify, everybody does everybody understand the term entrance exam? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. So um, to start off, let's have everybody go through and maybe um, talk a little bit about their entrance exams in for the universities in their country or. Um, the country that they're studying in. So I'll start. So in the United States, we have two tests, two standardized tests, and they're called the ACT and the SAT. So I'll actually I'm going to write this on the board. So um, I'll just write USA, and we have the ACT and the SAT. ACT, SAT. So we have um, those two tests. Okay, so starting from the very left, um, I can't see who that is. Um, hi there. Are you there? Yeah, I'm with you. I'm hearing you. Okay, you can hear me. Okay, so um, just state your country again. So I'll write it up here. Um, and then where? From Baghdad. Baghdad. Okay, Baghdad, Iraq. Okay. And so, do the universities in Iraq have college entrance exams? Um, um, college entrance, entrance exam. Do you mean uh, the exam that allow you to enter uh, the college? Yes. Um, yes. Uh, that's, that's one <laughs> yes. Do you have yes, those? Do you have those? Mm -hmm. Uh, no, right now there is no college uh, uh, for these uh, strategies. But uh, previously, um, in Hain University, which is I, I, I I'm, a, I'm a student uh, on it. Uh -huh. and, uh, uh, previously, it's called uh, Saddam University. Was um, uh, they do not allow any person to enter this college before they before do an exam. Uh, these include. Um, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's exam uh, has a several level of um, of IQ level of your knowledge. Okay. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, uh, of course the the this um, um, the, um, so so, about, mm -hmm. so right now do you have an entrance exam? That's just um just no, the, no, 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 there is no exam. No. Okay. Like so we'll just write no. So just just so we can see um, if people do have college entrance exams. Okay. So next, um, Brazil, right? Yeah. Yep. So do you guys have entrance exams? Yeah. In Brazil, we use it. We uh, use it to have a vestibular. But uh, people uh, they enter. Are be changing by mm -hmm. NA. I don't know. Okay. So is what's the what's the name of the exam? So I can just write it right here. Oh, it's called vestibular. I, I mm -hmm. write that down. And we also have another kind of uh, examination entrance. Uh huh. Uh, and it's NA. called NA. Which um, all universities can, you know, see the, the results of this test mm -hmm. and can accept you in the college in the universities. So, but the most common is vestibular. Okay. Um, it looks like the verbling chat isn't working. At least it's not working for me. So, if you could write it in the Google Hangout chat, which is if you click on the left, it says chat. Could you write it right there for me, real quick, please? So what? Or if you want, you or could just spell it for me. Just spell it for me. Okay, I'm gonna spell it if you okay. if you want. Yeah, yeah spell it. Okay. V V E. Okay. S S T I B 
U L A R. Okay, vestibular. Perfect. Okay, vestibular. Okay, cool. Okay, um, where's the next country? I think. Um, Luisa, I think yep. you're next. So you're from Arma Armenia? Yep. Okay, let me know if I spell anything wrong because I'm not very um, good at spelling. Yeah. Okay. And what is, do you have college, do you have college entrance exams? I didn't know if it's in English, but we, uh, we are usually have exams from, uh, uh, like High school? Math. No. Uh, we have math if you are, uh, want to be uh, economic. You, you have what? Uh, in, uh, in one university, it's uh -huh. a different exam. Okay, it's, so it depends on the university? Yeah, and the university and uh, what you want to study. Okay, okay, so we'll just write depends um, on university. Okay. Um, okay, then who do we have next? Marcelo? Or Marcel? You're from Brazil, right? Okay, so yeah. Victor, you're from Peru, but you're living in Italy right now. Victor, can you hear us? Uh, no, I'm from Vietnam. You what? I'm from Vietnam. Vietnam. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, Vietnam. And do you have college entrance exams? Yes. It's and very difficult and important. Okay, we what do you call it, uh, we call it college entrance exam. Entrance exam, okay. We'll just we'll just write yes. Since this is about college entrance exams. Okay, and then um, who do we have next? Shane, you're from China? Yeah. Do you have college entrance exams? Oh yes, definitely. It's yeah. called Gao Kao. G A O K A O. Is that one word? Uh, it's two words. Gao Kao. Gao literally uh, means high. Kao means test. High test. High test. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Okay. And then who do we have last? Um, I'm sorry. I forgot your name. Abdul? Abdul? Abdul Karim. Abdul Karim. And you're from Syria, right? Yeah. And do you have um, college entrance exams? Yeah, they are one exam. If you finish the school, uh huh, they have exam. I, he called. Called what? One minute. Okay. Kill kill kidlets. Kidlets. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna take a shot at this. Kid. Lits. L -A, a B. Oh, okay. K A B. C A B. C A B. Yeah. A B. Okay. Uh, I L I. I L I. T I. K. E S. E S. Cabinet. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now that we can see that most universities do have entrance exams. So, um, Armenia. Oh, I spelled Armenia wrong. There we go. Um, okay, so can everybody see this chat right here? If you, if you click on the left, it says chat, and there's a blue button. That's the chat for uh, just the Google Hangout since the verbling classes is not working. The chat. So if you have to write anything, if you have any questions, just write it right there or ask me. So the first thing we must do is um, talk about these these college entrance exams. So do you guys think? Or no, first question. Who do you guys think 
should be able to go to college. And this is just open discussion, so anybody can speak. Who do you think should be able to go to college? Everybody should, should, should be able to go to college, I think. I agree with that. Anybody else have a different opinion? No. No. Okay. So, next question. Um... First, why do we have these college exams? What, what do you guys think are some reasons why your countries have, um, like the vestibular, um, in Vietnam you have one, China you have the Gao Cao. Why do you guys think we have these exams? I believe it's a, f uh, it's a way to, you know, to, uh, to, to see the, 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 how the education was uh, when you were uh, in high school and you know the college as well, so I believe it's a, it's a way to measure the the quality standard. So measure it's the, pretty much that the quality standard. And so when you say quality standard, do you mean the um, like the level of knowledge for the student? That's correct. The the level of knowledge of students, but also the level uh, the quality of the education being taught. Okay, so the, the quality of education um, in like secondary education, which is another word for high school. That's correct. Okay. Does anybody else have any other thoughts or opinions? Or, um, I, I don't know, I, I have a more of a, I, I try to look, look at it uh, from the school, school's point, point of view. Mm -hmm. Maybe they want better students so that they can get more publishing down. That's true. You know, you know so they have more revenue. Things mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Good. Yeah. Any any anybody else have anything? Luisa, do you have any, mm. any thoughts on this? No. No? Okay. Um anybody else? I, 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 I think there are no how do I say space for all uh, that's true. All students in the college. So you need to select, select the, the best uh, students to, to, to... To be able to go to college, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so um, I just have a, a question for that then. So say, let's say that we have, I don't know, a hundred thousand universities and yes. we don't need to worry about space. Like space is a factor that we don't need to worry about. Huh. Then, what would you say? Would you say that we still need an entrance exam or no? If if uh, are there spaces are, are available, the yeah. So space is unlimited. There is unlimited space. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, all uh, all students. Could, uh, could, could go to the university. Could go to the university. And do you uh, think... Uh, sorry. But, but the, uh, oh, uh, was somebody going to talk? Uh, it uh, depends on the level. Uh, I, I think uh, it must be an entrance exam because not, of, uh, not uh, the student have the same level of... Uh, of, uh, of knowledge. Of knowledge or IQ or hardness. <laughs> Uh, in the same level of smart, the the the, the student who, who who want to go the medical college or those people or those pupils who need, uh, who want to enter enter uh, uh, um, um, any university need yeah. need an effort uh, must be uh, must be have a quality to enter this college. It is not yes. easy. It is not easy. No, uh, it to, isn't. Uh, uh, it's not easy to depend only on the uh, on the level of school. How how he's smart in the school. Uh -huh. So, yeah. to my opinion, it must be uh, existence as this exam. That's 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 a very good point. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, you definitely need to know that the students are going to be at a level where they can succeed in the college. Yeah. Um, okay. Good points. Good points, guys. Does anybody else have any thoughts on? Uh, Okay. Uh, I yes. I'd okay. like to talk about uh, in Brazil you have a a, a, a lei a, a law a law that uh, fifty percent of of 
how do I say, space on university. Okay. You will be reserved for for uh, oh. people with. Uh, I, I, I don't know how do I say in English. Uh, um. For black people, okay. Uh, oh, okay, okay. So um, yeah. this is called. I know what you're talking about. It, it's like affirmative action. It's it's like saying that, you know, in this in this university, there's room for like we're saving spots for like a hundred people who are Hispanic, yes. fifty people yeah. who are are Native American, you know, fifty people that are African American. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. We have Not that correct. I know. It's you a have kind that. of percentage uh, for uh, b not only black people, but uh, people from uh, Indian heritage and, of course, for poor people uh, and yes. also black people as well. So uh, we uh, have, a, uh, I believe, it's 15 or 20 percent of the yes. uh, university places are reserved for those kinds of uh, et ethnicities and people, of course. Okay, yeah. yeah. So like 50, you could say like 50 percent of, um, of like the, the available places. Yeah, yeah. Isn't there a quarter? What was that, what? Christian? Isn't there a quarter, like a quarter? Like a yeah, a quarter. Yeah, like yeah, twenty-five percent. Uh huh. Yeah, so like a quarter, like a fourth. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, do you guys? Does every? That's a good. That's a good point. Do you guys think that we should have reserved spots for you know like other ethnicities or other? Um, I don't know other groups, or do you think that it should be anybody? And so, like, let's say, let's say they have a hundred spots, yeah. and they do, and like none of them are reserved for anybody in particular. It can be it's open to anybody. And so then, um, let's say uh, the people who are or have lighter skin have higher have like better opportunities for education so then because of that they score better on these entrance exams mm -hmm. and because of their scores then all all 100 are light-skinned people as opposed to I don't know Hispanics or African Americans or um, people of Indian descent so then those people don't have the opportunities do you see do you guys see that mm hmm yeah so um, I think it's good that we have you know like like certain spots reserved for people who may not have um, a good opportunity at a good education. Do you guys agree with that? That's correct. Yeah. The reason well, for I this project that Brazil started, so that was the, the, the main reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody said but something. I think it has, but I think it has to do at some time, so like to, to make everyone equal Mm -hmm. You can't have that percentage forever. Yeah, that's true. That's a very good point. Because How? they will never try to be better because they have the percentage. Yeah. So if you know it's due sometime, so you can balance. Uh -huh. That's a that's a very good point. So how Vivian? How do you think that we can? I don't know. Maybe adjust that percentage, or how can we make it better? Like, say, let's say. Um, we have 100 students that we're going to admit to a university, and we say that 25 spots are reserved for people with dark skin or, or maybe of Indian descent. And so the, the number of people, or maybe the number the number of people with in from or no with Indian descent, that's going to change over time. So how do you think we can change that number? Like what would be a strategy to um, like continue making it equal for everybody or giving everybody the same chance well if everybody get the same education or high school or primary school everyone will be able to do the exam in an equal chance you know everybody learn it in the same status uh -huh. so, so you think what we should do is make the 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 secondary education equal. Equal, yes. Cool. Okay, and where are well, you from again? I'm from Brazil. Brazil. And I'm currently doing currently doing vestibular 
so <laughs> sometimes I ah. might be kind of radical. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't okay. don't shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, thank you for sharing that. That's a very good point. Um, uh, sorry, what means secondary education? What'd you say? What means secondary education? Secondary education is just another word for high school. So, like, usually you have um, like elementary school, which is primary. Then you might have middle school, or you might just have high school. So it goes primary, um, then secondary, and then post-secondary. And university or college is post-secondary. So here, I'll just write it for you. Right there. I don't know if you can see that in the chat. Um, yeah. So, yeah, okay, good. Okay, um, so those are some good points. So back to the college entrance exams. So you guys think that the main reason for the college entrance exams is to measure a student's um, like knowledge, like the the level of what they learned, the the quality of the education um, that they received in high school. Right? Is that what everybody agreed on? Yeah. Peter. Yes. Uh, have you had SAT exam? Have I had an entrance exam? Yes. Yes, I, I actually, so in the United States, that's, yeah, okay, so we'll move on to uh, the entrance exam. So in the United States, we have the ACT and the SAT. So they're, they're two different exams, they measure different things. Um, uh, the, the ACT, I know, has science and the SAT doesn't, so that's like one of the main differences. Also, another important difference is the on the ACT, if you get a question wrong, they don't subtract any points. But on the SAT, if you miss a question, you lose a quarter of a point or one-fourth of a point. So um, the, the SAT tends to be a lot harder. I took both of them. Um, to go to the university and uh, the reason I wanted to talk about this was because I think the uh, you can do both yeah and Enrique that's a good question yeah. you, you can do both you're welcome to take it as many times as you'd like um, and you can do either one you can do you could do the ACT five times and the SAT two times or you could do only the SAT you, you can do whichever so it just depends on what you want to do the ACT is typically easier um, but they're both they're both different exams. So the reason I wanted to do this debate slash discussion was because um, when I was taking the entrance exams, I didn't think it was fair that universities, you know, they base whether they base your your knowledge and your they call it your ability to succeed in university on a, on a test because I think that you know studying in the university is way more than a test I think that they should measure um, the things you do outside of school which are called extracurriculars like extracurricular activities like sports or clubs um, also work experience like having a job leadership experience um, community experience. what Community experience. Com right? Exactly. Yeah, they, they call that uh, community service. That's oh, also yeah, another. Yeah. What was that? Uh, about about the exam, sorry. No, no. This uh, what I'm what we're talking about right now, like community service, extracurriculars, work experience. All of those are other factors that I think determines somebody's success in college. So. Um, what I'm saying is, instead of having an exam like the ACT, SAT, Bessie Boulard, Gao, Cao, any of those, I think instead of those, the universities should look at other factors like extracurriculars, work experience, um, leadership experience, community service experience, all of those experiences. I think those measure somebody's ability to be successful in college. So um, we'll just move through, do this again. So we're just going to talk about what you think are important factors in measuring a student's ability to be successful in college. So starting with Christian, what are some factors that you think are important in measuring a student's ability to be successful in the university? Well, 
I think that what you say, like uh, the extracurricular activities, should be taken into account when it comes like to select the people that should <laughs> uh, study. Yeah. In the university, but then it's very hard to do so because there are many people who apply for universities. So how could you do that? How could like, you do that? That's a good question. Does anybody have an answer to that or a comment? Well, when you get a job, they analyze your CV. So if you have a CV for college, uh -huh. then they will analyze your CV, your college CV. What is a CD? ECV, a like a curriculum, curriculum vitae. A curriculum what? Vita, like a resume. Oh, resume. Okay, okay, resume. resume. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a very good point. So, I'm just gonna write that down. Extra curricular activities. Um, what were the other ones that you said, Christian? Well, uh, I was uh, just thinking about what you had mentioned before, but then I think that some factors that could determine this is like uh -huh. maybe how you did at school. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, the marks. Yeah, you could say grades or marks, uh -huh. like high school grades. De yeah, those. That's definitely another thing because I mean that's school, and you, you know you have to study, you have to take exams, stuff like that. So that's another important factor I didn't mention. Okay, so uh, what are some other factors? Well, I think I that know, maybe could be a psychological experience or a test, like do you know, so you could know where your abilities are, like art or science or mm -hmm. math, some psychological analysis. Yeah, also I'll write psychological tests. Um, psychological mm -hmm. tests. Any any other factors, guys? success. Mm -hmm. In the college or in the uh. university, um, number one is a uh, uh, level of education or how you can deal with a new a new mm -hmm. learning or a new style of learning in the in the, in the mm -hmm. new community or a new uh, a new a new way you get the information. Yeah. So in which in which you depend in the textbook, not on the on the easy book I will take on the on the. And this level or, or, or the years before it. Uh, number two, um, it's important uh, to, to to know how to deal with the new society. Um, that, mm -hmm. is, that is that is that uh, um, is a big change between uh, the level uh, or the society of the school or the society of the community, uh, the society of the college and university. You face. Um, in, the, in the university, you face a, a new, a new community, a new society. You, you, you may not know in the first year how to deal with them. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's my, in the a new student, you may face this, this problem. That's true. That's 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 a very good point. You're because you're, um, it's going to be a different society, different feel. So, how do you think universities could measure that? or measure the student's ability. So I think I would call that adaptability. How do you think you could measure a student's adaptability in um, new societies or new places? Mm. Um, it's, it's a problem of the student. I don't know. I, I, mm -hmm. the, 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 the college can deal this problem. But, mm -hmm. but in the, in the, the parting or the um, uh, um, in Iraq, there is uh, the party of of in, 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 uh, in the, uh, at the first year of college, uh, mm -hmm. they make a party of uh, a new student to to make them introduce to each other uh, and uh, and the uh, the older student on the second or third year may may be supervisor on this party. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 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 it may be. Yeah. No, I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, that's that's a very good point. Um, looks like he just left. So Harun, are you, can you hear us? One sec. Okay. Harun. 
He's on the phone. Okay, okay. Yeah. Didn't see that. Enrique, so mm -hmm. do you think there are any factors that will help determine success in college that I haven't listed right here? Mm -hmm. I think, yeah. Uh, yeah. There, no, the, so there... It, it, so. In, in, uh, I think that it depends a lot of the the people, the the students. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, without uh, the interest of the of the student, you don't have success in the college. In, in, That's true. Yeah. Uh, interest. We'll write that. That's a very good point. Yeah. So mm -hmm. there are some students that <laughs> may not be interested in going to the university, and their parents. Yes. Make yes. them go, so yeah. That's I didn't I didn't think of that. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a good point. Uh huh. Thanks. Okay. Uh, uh, another question in Brazil, yeah, public university is the most difficult to 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 entrance to in Brazil. Yes. Yes. But the teacher, they they are not very good to 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 teaching. They're not very. They're so the so it's the entrance exam is difficult, but the teachers aren't good. No, it, it's very smart, but it's not good to teach. Uh, uh, to 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 yeah, to teach to to explain pra, to the to, to students to uh -huh. the students. So the student need to. Sometimes it's uh, 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 yes, yes, uh, by self, né? By self, uh huh. Yeah. So you think the students need yes. to teach themselves sometimes? Yes, yes, yes. Oh yeah. Um, oh no, I definitely agree with that. Uh, yeah. Excuse me. The the problem is in Brazil. It's very difficult to get on public colleges because they are the best here, but. The teachers are underpaid, so they are kind of careless mm -hmm. with the, the classes. And if you can't change that, so how is, are you supposed to finish your major with mm -hmm. a good quality, you know? Yeah. So what's the point of losing your time in some very difficult exam if the teacher is not going to give you attention? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good point. Somebody said excuse me a second ago. Okay, maybe their question was answered. Okay. Maybe I scared that person. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you did. Okay. Well, that's no, no, yeah. it was me. It was me. Okay, Harun. Yes. No, Oscar. No, Oscar. Yes. Oh, well, yeah. I thought that I thought that uh, Brazil has the the best um, universities in South America. Really? Yeah, I think I've yeah. heard that too. Well, th huh, that's interesting then because, you know, I've heard that too. I've heard that the universities in Brazil are, I've heard they're very difficult to get into and I've heard that they're very good. So they are. <laughs> they're good, but some of the teachers are careless. They're difficult to get in. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Um, okay. Um, moving on. So, Luisa, I think you're next. Do you have any? Um, um, okay. She just left. Maybe, maybe we scared her away on accident. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar, uh, where are you from again? Colombia. Colombia. Okay. Is, are there any other factors that you think will help determine uh, how successful a student will be in college that I haven't listed here? So we have extracurricular activities, high school grades, psychological tests, work experience, community experience, adaptability, and interest. Um. I think that's that's all. No, it's pretty good. Okay, so yeah. anybody else? Shane, maybe. Do you have any uh, thoughts? Are you there, Shane? Okay, sounds like he's not there either. Uh, Victor. Do you? Are there any other factors that you think we could add, or do you think we have them all? No, I couldn't think of any other. Okay, I think we I think we have them all. Okay, so now that we know, we all agree that these are the factors that determine success in college. Um, what? Hmm, let's think. So, do you guys think that any of your entrance exams measure these things? 
I mean, obviously we measure this one, yeah. but I mean, besides this one, do you think, do any of your guys' college entrance exams measure, you know, extracurricular activities, adaptability, interests, community experience, work experience, do any of your guys' tests? I, I think the psychology test, in the test you can, you can measure it, because if a student was not very good to do the test, the Okay, I see what you're saying. So you're saying that in some universities, instead of looking at the college entrance exams, um, universities will look at these factors, right? Right? Is that what you're saying? Can you hear me? No, no. I, no. I said that uh, the test, like in Brazil, vestibular. Vestibular, uh-huh. Uh, the, can the <laughs> test measure the high school quality uh -huh. and the physical the thirst the physiological test? Oh, okay, so in Brazil it measures this. Yeah, yeah. No, in Colombia too. Maybe, maybe because we we'll have one day to do the test. Okay. If the people is not. Uh, uh, you cannot prepared. stay prepared. Mm -hmm. So okay, you you had you need to to stay with your head. Uh, you cannot. Uh, how do I say? How do you say? Just uh, you just try. Maybe try and describe it. What uh, what are you trying to say? Uh, let me try. It. Or maybe somebody can help you out if you say it in Portuguese. I'm sure somebody can uh, help. Uh, the, concentrado. Concentrado. Uh, concentrated. Focus, 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 yeah. focus concentrated. Yeah. Okay. Focus. Ah, okay. To... Okay. So you're saying that the vestibular measures high school grades and psychological tests. Somebody, no. there were there were some differing <laughs> opinions. No, that's different. Vestibular, they they don't measure psychological tests. Oh, oh. okay. So they don't measure this. Yeah. Okay. It's because to to do this exam, you have to be psychological prepared. You know? Exactly. Oh. Yes, it's a miracle. Okay, 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 okay. So if you don't, if your mind don't can't stand that. You are. Yeah. You're gonna fail. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, now I think we understand what you're saying. So you need to be psychologically prepared to take the vestibular because yeah, it's very yeah. difficult. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Ten well, hours of questions. <laughs> Oscar, were you gonna say something about Colombia? Oh, that in Colombia we have like a psychological test to enter to uh, to the university. Uh huh. Uh, okay. They they ask some things like, "Do you use drugs?" and things like that. Really, in the college yeah. entrance exam. Yes. Huh. That's that's really interesting. That's different. Okay. So now that we know that most of these the the college entrance exams don't measure most of these factors. I mean, most of them. The only thing they measure is high school grades, but it doesn't measure doesn't determine success in college. So if you guys were to think of another way to figure out like like a I don't know a way to measure all of these things um, and have that like let's say we had an application like a college entrance application which instead of having to take a test you had to write about your college or your uh, extracurricular activities your psychological uh, like maybe take a psychological test, talk about your work experience, your community service, um, talked about how you would be able to adapt to different environments, and maybe talk about why you want to study. Do you guys think that would be something better than um, like the vestibular, the ACT, yeah. SAT, those entrance exams? Can you repeat the question, please? Yeah. Do you think that instead of do you think that we should eliminate those college entrance exams and only have like an application that that uh, asks you about these factors do you think that would be better I or, think that it's not because 
in theory, uh, I think it, it might be a little bit better, but uh, it's really hard to carry out. I think it testing is. is still the most efficient way to you know to weed out the you know, unqualified, I guess. But yeah, that's that's a good point. What somebody else was saying something. Uh, yes, I'm Victor, right? Yeah. Yes, I think that it's not better because when mm -hmm. you take an exam, there will be great and small, and uh, they will, uh, I don't know. You, you, th you, you think that, w you think, why, um, why do you think that we should have um, uh, the entrance yeah. exams and not this? Mm, I think uh, it's necessary to take an exam. Mm -hmm. Because we have a score and a grade, and we can measure the knowledge based on the score. Mm -hmm. But um, that's true. That if there was no exam, mm -hmm. there must be some people to uh, to judge, mm -hmm. to decide. Um, and I think it's not 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 better. better. Uh, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so sounds like every, uh, Vivian, you were gonna say something. I was just gonna say, no matter how how we change it, there's there's always gonna be somebody who's not happy with it. That's true. Mm -hmm. But I thought Shane brought up a good point. I think that it is a good way to weed out those who. Well, I don't know. I mean, I I kind of disagree a little bit like it is a good way to weed out those who are going to like not even care about the test mm -hmm. and like get a really bad score so it'll weed out those people but then it's going to be harder for for people who aren't good at taking the test or or maybe maybe like they get stressed out for example during yeah the that's test. true that's yeah. that's the only reason that um i think it might be a bad reason but that um, brings sorry vivian what were you gonna say Sorry if I'm saying too much. No, it's okay. Um, the the problem is, usually we just have the test as an op as an option to get in, to get on college. So yeah. maybe if there was more than one way to get it, I, that's a that's that's no, very. I was going not, to just not to the, say. Not just one way in, more more ways. More ways. Somebody else was going to say something. Yeah. Uh, do you know what? Because I was thinking we haven't talked about uh, the interviews to interviews. get into college. Yeah, because well, it depends on the major you're going to. Well, uh -huh. well, it depends on the major. It does depend to. on the major. Uh huh. Yeah, but then, for example, for uh, majors related to art, you have to yes. do many, many, many tests like. Uh, not only do they measure if you have knowledge on the, uh -huh. well, that particular field of knowledge, but also they ask you if you, I mean, they try to find out if you would really succeed in doing that, like by, well, mm -hmm. by uh, an interview asking you questions. Yeah. Uh, they they want to see, they want to like, measure how well you can handle like that kind of a situation like because an interview a lot of people um, they kind of get scared they feel nervous so yeah that's that's another um, it's another like kind of way to see how well somebody will do in college but I mean that's more I feel like interview is more for after college because like when you're getting a job you're gonna do an interview but in college you know you're gonna be sitting in a class you're not gonna be doing interviews but yeah I mean I think that's to weed out the like weed out like figure out the best people select the best people for specific programs so yeah yeah that's but, but that's cool yeah a way of measuring all those other factors we think are important that's true that is very true. Instead of instead of having them write essays on it, you could just interview them and ask them about it and have them share the experiences. That's very that's that's very true. Okay, um, so we only have ten nine minutes left, but I want to bring up one other question. Um, so, like I said, in the United States we have the SAT and the ACT, but also in the United States we have what are called, um, like, for example, SAT. Prep classes. I took it. You did. Yes. 
Okay. So that just I just have a, a very um, interesting point I want to bring up. So we do have these SAT prep classes. So what you can do is you can pay lots of money to have people tutor you to do well in these exams. And yeah. so what I'm trying to say is I don't think that's fair because people with lots of money can pay mm -hmm. you know the, the best tutors in the country or the best tutors in the state to teach them how to take this test. So then mm -hmm. It comes down to who has enough money to be able to study well for this test or get enough practice for this test. So, um, do you guys think that's okay, or what do you? How do you guys feel about that? What do you guys think? You know, I think I'd rather study that. That says uh, tutoring doesn't really improve your grade significantly. Mm -hmm. um, I I I can't probably try to find the source of that, but it, okay. so, something like that. But it, yes. it still helps, though. It does help a little bit. But do you think it's fair? Uh, probably not. Probably. So you know, okay. yeah, the, that just comes down to uh, poor people can't afford. You know the. The same the advantage of yeah, exactly. So poor people. So it comes down to um, whether everybody has an equal opportunity, and they don't in this case. Does anybody else have any thoughts on this? Well, I do. <laughs> okay. Um, in Brazil, I think that it's kind of. I can say it's totally fair, because you know we have. To, sorry. One minute, my phone is ringing. Does it cost a lot of it comes down to you want to score better than that person because there are only a limited number of spots open. So that's a good yeah. point. Um, anybody else from Brazil think, or or just in general, does anybody else think that it's fair? But uh, Joe, uh, for example, here in Bogota, I'm also from Colombia. Yes. Uh, well, there are also those kind of courses to enter to the. Uh, uh, to universities in here, uh, the uh, like the, um, mm -hmm. those um, how do you call that? Well, what you have to do to enter into the college entrance exams, sorry, <laughs> yeah. depends on the university. But for example, for people who can't afford uh, those kind of prep classes, yeah. there are group of there are groups of people who get together and they start uh, studying. Like they have access to books at the library. A lot of the times, um, just information on the internet. So there are a lot of uh, free prep tools available. Yeah. Does anybody else have any thoughts or comments? Mm. Uh, in Brazil, I think no, no. I think that the they, system if you is have money different. to, Cows in Brazil, to pay. Yeah. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. We have two people. So Enrique mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then I think Angel or Manuel. Manuel. So, Manuel. Manuel. Okay, so Enrique first. Yeah, so yes. in Brazil, the system of education I think is very different because in high school, the best uh, schools is Let's private. Uh -huh. So people who has more money, uh -huh. uh, who uh, uh, will study in in a private school. Mm -hmm. And when they they will be entry, they they will they will should they have, they they have like a better be shot. Anything. Yeah, they when they you go to the university, he they you be better, you be prepared better than people from from. From, from other, from like public well, high schools. Yes, yes. And in the university, the best universities are, are public. So you change in university, you change the, the system. Mm -hmm. In high school, the best is private. Okay. In so, yeah. college, the best is public. Yes, yes. And okay. In, in the okay. other hand, mm -hmm. And uh, people who 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 don't has money uh -huh. that all, all the high school study in in a, in a in high school that's that's public 
Mm-hmm. They when they go to the university, mm-hmm. they don't have uh, uh, capacity to to mm-hmm. enter because they don't have uh, knowledge to 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 get in the university. So yeah, okay. But that's yeah. why we have fifty percent of the chairs on college for those people. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's true. See? Yeah. I don't like it, but I have to accept it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, no, that's a good point, Enrique. Um, okay, and then Manuel, what were you going to say? Yes, I, I, I say before that uh, uh, I think that if you, if you uh, can, the, if, can the effort for pay the good teacher that prepare to you for the exams, is a good idea if you have money. Yeah. You see, I really want to see that when 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 I study studied in the in the, in the university. Mm-hmm. If for example, if I wanted to to pass the exams, uh, I I have to pay a particular teacher to learn me the the classroom. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. No. Exactly. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. So I think what it comes down to is, you know, having the equal opportunity at the test. I mean, I think what they wanted was to, you know, have the same test around, for example, in the United States we have the SAT and it's the same no matter where you live. So they were trying to make the test equal, but um, with these SAT prep classes that are really good that you pay for, then that kind of eliminates the equal opportunity. Um, I mean, like, the, the poor people or the people who can't afford these classes still have the opportunity um, or they, they have free prep tools available, but um, it's just not going to be as good as those classes. So, yeah, I think it just... Yeah, what, it, what was that? I, know. I, I suppose uh, uh, it should be the uh, same opportunities for, for the people. Yeah, so I, I think the best idea was what Vivian said. I think rather than having these college entrance exams, we should add more options so that the students have more than one option. So if they do, you know, if, if they're part of that group that only has a limited number of spots in the university, then um, they have another option open for them. Or the people who have less money have another option for them. So yeah, so I think I think that's the 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 best solution. I think so. Cool. It is discrimination. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Okay, all right, guys. Well, class is over. Thank you all for coming. It was a really interesting discussion, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the future. See you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Love it, the class. Bye. Okay. See you, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Uh-huh. Thanks for coming.